Okay, now we've got two different atoms. We have an atom of magnesium and an atom of sulfur. Okay, magnesium has an atomic number of 12. Sulfur has an atomic number of 16. Magnesium's electrons are in the configuration 2, 8, 2. Sulfur's are in the configuration 2, 8, 6. Magnesium has a, a valence of plus 2, or it, wants, it has two extra electrons. And sulfur has a valence of minus 2. Okay, so we still want to have a, remember the, I erased it, it used to say octet rule up there. The octet rule, they want eight, they're, they're happier if they have eight electrons in their outermost shell, okay? Magnesium has these two electrons. It's easier for magnesium to get rid of these two than to gain six more. Sulfur has six electrons in its outer shell. So to get eight, sulfur wants two more electrons to be stable or to be happy, okay? So magnesium, this isn't coming off the board. I'm just gonna use a different sticker because that one's all torn up. Magnesium is gonna give two of its electrons to sulfur. So now magnesium has, has, um, tw has 10 electrons and 10 electrons and 12 protons. So, it's going to have an overall charge of plus two. I'm going to use a different color because that's not showing up. So it's got 12 protons, 10 electrons, so it has an overall charge of plus two. Sulfur over here has 16 protons, 18 electrons, so it has an overall charge of minus two or two minus, okay? So these two are attracted to each other. They've, they have exchanged electrons and now this one's positive, this one's negative. They can join together to form an ionic bond because they have opposite charges that match. If you look back here at the periodic table, ionic bonds form between metals, which actually metals go all the way over to like, like in here, okay? This zigzag line here cuts off the metals from the non-metals. So all of this left-hand side of the periodic table, these are all metals. These green ones over here, these are non, and the, the purple ones, these are non-metals, okay? An ionic bond forms between a metal and a non-metal. So we have magnesium and we have sulfur. Before we had lithium and we have fluorine. So an ionic bond always forms between a metal and a non-metal. Okay? That's it.